On January 29th, <clears throat> in the early morning hours, I want to take you all the way back to 1.30, 1.45 a.m. when you left 34 Fairview on the 29th. Where did, after you dropped off the girls, where did you and Matt McKay go? We came home. After you got home, you indicated that you went upstairs, correct? Correct. After you went upstairs, you indicated that you got on the phone. On correct. Your, on your cell phone, correct? After you got on your cell phone, you indicated that you started searching for stuff. Correct. So if there's GPS, that you've seen the forensic extraction or part of it, correct? Which one are you referring to? Phone. The forensic extraction of your phone. I saw what you showed me yesterday from Celebrate. That's what I mean. Okay. From, from I'm, Celebrite, part of it. I saw, yeah, the phone calls, yes. Okay. You're aware that that extraction shows that you got home after 2 a.m. or so, so that would be generally correct. Correct. The Celebrite extraction shows from your Apple Health data that you actually went up a set of stairs. That would be accurate, correct? Accurate. The Celebrite data shows that you actually logged into your phone, did a login, either face ID or a, a passcode, opened up the phone. That would be accurate. Correct. The Celebrite data shows that you were engaging with an app called Safari to engage some Google searches, correct? Yes. That would be generally accurate as well, correct? Yes. So after you opened up Safari, you indicated that you Google searched something about ozone basketball. Is that right? Yes. That was sometime after 2 a.m., right? Yes. What was so important about ozone basketball at 2 a.m. that it couldn't wait until the morning? Why did you search it then? Well, first I was home, I was wide awake, and I had been texting about a basketball chat, and basketball was clearly on my mind. My daughter had been um, invited to join a team. I didn't know much about the team, so I just was like Googling to see, because the woman who had given my daughter the offer had wanted an answer. So you say that the basketball was on your mind, correct? Yes. Was there anything else on your mind in that early morning hour time frame? Don't believe so. Ms. McCabe, if you wanted to know in general how long it takes for a human being to pass away because of exposure to extreme temperatures, right? If you wanted to know the answer to that, mm -hmm. what would you Google search? What phrase would you use? I'm not sure. All I recall is what the defendant asked me to Google in the morning. If you wanted to know, I'm asking a different question. Mm -hmm. If you personally wanted to know, how long does it take for a person to die of exposure due to extreme temperatures, what would you put in? What phrase would you use? Objection. Sustained. Well, we don't have to guess at the phrase that you would use if you wanted to know something about dying of hypothermia, do we? Because you actually Google searched it. Objection. Sustained. Ask that differently, please. Did you, in fact, use a phrase to Google search how long it takes for someone to die of extreme temperatures? I did in the morning at the request of your client. Okay. And what phrase did you use? I'm not sure. Really? Y correct. I was... After two and a half years of this, you don't know the phrase that you used? Objection, Your Honor. And there's so many lies and, and misconceptions no on social media. No question. Oh, I apologize. Okay. Are you telling me you don't remember what Google search you put in? Karen was screaming, my hands were shaking, and she was saying, Google hypothermia, how long does it take to die in the cold? And what did you, what phrase did you put in your phone? I'm just asking you to say it. Why don't you show me it? You literally don't remember? Again, she was screaming, Google hypothermia, how long does it take to die in the cold? How about? And I picked up my phone and I started Googling. And you literally, to this day, right now, under oath, you're saying you don't remember that phrase that you used. Objection. I'll allow it. Is that what you're saying? I'm saying that at her... Do you remember it or do you not, Ms. McCabe? That's a simple question. 
that morning, I don't remember specifically what I Googled, but I do know what you've put out to the social media. How about this? Hoss long to die in cold. Does that sound familiar? Yeah, it's been everywhere. Why does that sound so familiar? Because you've put it out in social media. Well, I haven't put anything out in social media because I don't personally have social media. I'm sorry, Turtle Boy did. So if the world happens to know it, mm -hmm. that's not on me, is it? I guess not. I guess not. Hoss long to die in cold is what you put in to the Google search, right? If you say so. Is there a reason that you don't want to admit to that? Absolutely not. It's a I, simple question, right? No reason. So say it. What Google search did you use? Objection. Sustained. You were seeking at some point to Google how long to die in the cold, correct? Correct. And you made a mistake and mistakenly typed Hoss long to die in cold. Correct? If you could show me it, I'd appreciate it. You later Google searched. May I approach, Your Honor? Yes. Thank you. While she looks at that, Mr. Jackson, can we bring our clerk back upstairs? Of course, yes. I, I think we're back to the Thank you very much. Can you text Thank Jimmy you. and tell him? Oh. Take a look at that report and tell me if that refreshes your recollection. Yes, it does. Does that appear to be an accurate uh, page from a Celebrite extraction from your phone? It does. Okay. May I have that back? Uh, I'm sorry, may I approach? Yes. May I have that back for a second? Yes. Did you see this, the actual search phrase? Yes. Is that now with your recollection? Yes. But I'd like to have this marked as uh, next in order. Exhibit, please. Is there an objection, Mr. Lally? No, Your Honor. Jim? No, no, no. May I? Yes. Is that Madam Court Reporter? I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Move to publish this, Your Honor. Okay. Does this appear to be the document that was just marked as Exhibit 99? Yes. Um, I know it's a little bit small, Mr. Jason. Um, you, know you see this column? Yes. Third column from the past, the fourth column from the left. One, some dates, uh, some data, and then a Google search, correct? Correct. What does that Google search say? House long to die in cold. Now, you indicate that you did that, you made that search at 6.23 a.m., correct? Correct. And then you indicated that you did it again thereafter at 6.24, correct? Correct. At 6.24, you misspelled the phrase and you spelled it as follows, how long T-I die in C-I-K-D, correct? Correct. Now you claim that those two searches were at 623 and 624 a.m. respectively, correct? Objection. Phrase it differently. Sure. You've indicated under direct examination that these two searches were at 623 and 624 a.m., right? I don't know if I gave exact times, but I said it was in the morning and Karen had asked me to do it. And you, exactly, you claimed that you searched it because Karen was screaming at you and yelling at you, Google hypothermia, and you Googled 
how long does it take for a person to die? I'm sorry, she said something like, how long does it take for a person to die of hypothermia? And you Google searched it at 623 and 624. Is that right? Again, I'm not sure about the exact times. I just did it after Karen asked me to do it. Would you quarrel with the idea that those were about 30 seconds apart? Okay. Um, and you're aware, Ms. McCabe, that both spellings, both misspellings of that phrase result in the exact same search results, don't they? I'm not aware of that, no. Well, you Googled them, ma'am. You're looking on your phone and you Googled them. How long to die in cold and how long to die in CIKD? Both of those. You Googled them, right? I did, yes. And they result in the exact same search results, don't they? I have no idea. So my question to you is, why the two searches? She was standing next to me, screaming, shaking my hand. My hand was cold. I was trying to Google it. Obviously, maybe whatever came up first didn't make sense because I had some misspellings, so I did it again. So how long to die in cold results in articles concerning dying of exposure, does it? We never got the chance to read it. Well, you're the one, can you say we? Who's we? Karen and myself. Well, you're the one holding the phone, Mr. K. Correct. So you're looking down at your phone and you see exactly what comes up, correct? I don't remember exactly what came up. Well, what came up was something about dying of hypothermia, didn't it? That's what she asked. So why do it again? Why do it again, Ms. McKay? You have the result. Why the second search? I cannot answer that beyond telling you that my hands were frozen. She was shaking me and screaming at me. And you see the time. Let me scroll up, please. According to that, the Celebrate data, you see this first search that says Haas long to die in cold? I do. What's that time? You've got the, um, it's right over at 2.27. AM or PM? Ms. McCabe, you made that search at 2.27 AM because you knew that John O'Keefe was outside in your sister's lawn dying in the cold, didn't you? Absolutely not. I did not make that search at that time, no. Realized the next morning, after John was discovered, after 6 a.m., that you had an incriminating search on your phone, didn't you? Absolutely not. To cover your tracks, you searched it again in order to overwrite <coughs> the original search at 227, correct? Again, absolutely not. But you were nervous and you screwed it up. So the first search you made at 623 was Haas Long to die in CIKD. Wasn't it? No. When you see the search, right there, correct? I see the search, but I disagree with your narrative. And what's the time frame of that search? 623. And you agree that that time frame is accurate, right? Again, it's what the report says. And that's a, that comports with your memory of that morning, about 623 in the morning in 51 seconds. Correct. There's a second search. Correct? Correct. And this one, at 624, it says Haas Long to die in cold. 624.16, correct? Correct. I'm sorry, 18. My eyes aren't that great. And that comports with your memory as well. I remember Googling it at the request of the defendant, yes. About 27 seconds apart, correct? Yes. But the reality is your first search didn't comport with the 2.27 a.m. search, did it? It was a different spelling, wasn't it? I never searched a 2.27. That is not reality. But the 6.24 search did exactly mirror a search that, according to this report, took place at 227, correct? 
I'm sure Celebrite will be able to explain it to you. I can't. And then of those three searches, one of them ended up deleted. Isn't that right? I never deleted any search. Take a look at the Celebrite report. Top search, and the column marks deleted. What do you see? I see a yes. Ms. McCabe, the reason you deleted that 2.27 a.m. call is because you realized that if you were caught Googling how long it takes for a person to die in the cold three and a half hours before John's body was found, that would incriminate you, wouldn't it? Objection. The objection sustained. Did you delete that search because you knew that you would be implicated in John O'Keefe's death if that search was found on your phone? Objection. I'll let you. Could you answer that, please? I did not delete that search. I never made that search at 2.23. I never would have left John O'Keefe out in the cold to die because he was my friend that I loved. But he's not your family, is he? Family and friends. Is Objection. Your... Sustained. You acknowledge that you made the search at 6.23, don't you? In the morning, I did, yes. You acknowledge that you made the, the search at 624. Multiple times in the morning, yes. Of the three searches that show up that were all found on your phone, the one that you disavow is the one that took place at 227 a.m., which would implicate you and exonerate my client, correct? Objection. Sustained. Can I ask it differently, Mr. Jackson? Of those three searches, was only one marked deleted. Isn't that right? Correct. That was the one at 2.27 a.m., correct? I wouldn't even know how to go in and delete a search. That's not what I asked you. The one according to the Celebrite report that was deleted, the one at 2.27 a.m., correct? Correct. You would agree that that's awfully convenient for you, isn't it? Objection. Sustained. That's all I have.